Pop Squat. Come on at ya. Uh, one of my patrons, Alina, uh, I won't give the last name even though I'm sure it's not a real last name, uh, but Alina sent this in. This is another track from, uh, well, this says Delete Zack, D L T Z K, which I was reading as Ditsk the other day because I thought the I was an L, or the L was an I. Uh, but Delete Zack is actually the old name for, and I hope it's not a dead name, for Jane Remover. Uh, Jane Remover, uh, only listened to one track from so far, thought it was absolutely amazing. It's so cool to see some representation from, like, the trans community actually being about trans topics in the music. It's fantastic. It's, I mean, it was really very, very cool. Um, but this is an older track from them, and this is Kodak Moment, which, uh, let's see here, came on November of 2021, produced by Jane Remover, or Delete Zack at the time. This is off of the album Frailty. This is track number 8 out of 13 on Frailty. So again, at that point in the, in the album, I'm expecting this to probably be pretty personal. It's called Kodak Moment, so I'm imagining it's something that really set solid in their brain and is now going to come out in the in the form of a song for all of us to hear uh very very curious about this i've got lyrics over here from the genius site um interesting the genius site lists the artist and producer as jane remover not as the old name delete zach um so i'm not sure uh what to call this i assume they're probably using jane remover everywhere for their music now but the video is labeled delete zack so i'll call it that for now and jane remover i'll use interchangeably and please excuse my ignorance uh let's check this out six minutes long and seven seconds this is kodak moment from jane remover slash delete zack uh and alina thanks again for sending this in i know you just posted this on the discord uh like in the last day or two and uh i thought this sounded like a fun choice let's do it Uh, one thing I want to, it's a great beginning. I mean, it's a great beginning. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is this is tagged with a few genres here on Genius. Rock, pop, glitch, indie, electronic, electronic, alternative rock, hyper pop, and noise pop. Sounds very cool to me, honestly. So let's, uh, let's start this over. I thought the beginning was great. It reminds me in a very different way of something like the start to a Pixies track. And that is definitely a good thing. So it's interesting because the the chorus here, which we just listened to, has some neat stuff, but I want to kind of back up a little bit. Uh, how does it feel to be the front of the line? I don't understand what that means. And Jane Remover puts an annotation that says, I am not talking about being the fucking line leader. Um, so I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. 
When was the last time you got caught telling lies? Was it last night? I know you hate to see me like this, but winter's uninvited because I don't know how to stop the cold from coming in. Whew, a lot of really non-specific language. I think it's fine. It's, that's very artsy language, right? I kept my coat on till summer and it pissed you off. Till the summer and it pissed you off. Hiding inside the coat? I still don't know what I did wrong, so I scrambled to keep it on. When it gets brought up in conversation, I just want to run, but I can't go very fast because I got weights all on my tongue. Not sure what that's about. A reference to Teen Week Track 17. Don't want to hang up my coat. Just let's keep it on. When it gets brought up in conversation, Jane doesn't want to talk about it wanting to run. But since Jane can't keep the awkward silence, they are forced to talk about it but can't give a reason. So Jane makes up a reason. The weight's on their tongue. Uh, processing the made-up reasons makes the response sound slow, irregular, forced, unnatural. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if any of this is for real or just this person's opinion. I, I have no idea. But when we get down to the... So obviously they're, they're hiding something, right? And, and since we know from the last song we listened to that Jane is slash was trans, I guess always was trans, um that might be the thing that they were hiding and trying to conceal and not willing to talk about. And, you know, if it gets brought up in conversation, like, nah, I don't, don't want to talk about that because it's uncomfortable. Right. And then the interlude or the chorus, I think is really interesting where it says, don't talk. If it's not your turn, you got lost chasing time again. It's all right. I missed something. Uh, don't talk when it's not your turn just to watch the world burn. It's all your fault. Don't blame me for what I didn't cause. You got lost chasing time again. It's all right. You got lost chasing time again. It's all good. And I kind of wonder if this is someone talking to them, to, to the person in the song, like, don't talk if it's not your turn. Like, just be quiet and watch the world burn. This is all your fault anyway. Don't blame me. I didn't do this. You're the one who did it. Like, it's very, it seems very abusive to me, right? Like... This isn't my fault. I, you're the one who insists on you know, being yourself, right? You're the one who insists on burning all this down. So it, it, that's kind of what I read into this. It's, there's not enough information really to, for it to make sense. I have a hard time turning it around so that the person who this song is about is the one saying this to someone else or saying it to themselves. Like... Maybe they're saying it to themselves and then also saying, like, don't blame me that this is the result of what happened when because you, you can't handle the fact that I'm now telling my truth about, you know, like, I'm trans, right? I don't know. I, I just don't know. Let's keep going. I think that sounds really... I, I love... It sounds stupid to say I love pop music because it's all over the place, but noise pop, electronic glitch, all that stuff I absolutely love, so I'm totally, definitely into this. Nice change. So all of this, it's so weird. I listen to all of this and the picture I get in my head is of somebody just flipping out like in a room in a house and starting tearing everything apart and throwing it around and, and just destroying it. Just like out of frustration and release of 
all this energy. Like, literally, that's what I see in my head when this, like, skipping, blipping music slash sound comes out is I see somebody, like, picking up papers and just whipping them and throwing stuff at the wall and breaking stuff. And it's really, uh, it's really an interesting way to, to tell this part of the story that I am completely making up in my head. I don't know if this is the intention, but that's what I get out of this glitch stuff that we're hearing. Gotta admit, if I listened to the first part of the song and then knowing the song when this part came on, I would listen to a little bit and then skip ahead. Because this is just a lot, right? Like, this is just a lot of experimental playing around, funking around with the music and the sound of it that I just don't think I would want to listen to every single time. That said, I love how all of these snippets, none of them go on for too long. It's like, here's this little sound, I'm going to repeat it a couple of times, maybe, and then I'm going to move on to something else, because it's constantly changing, and that's good. Like, if it was the same thing over and over and over and over and over, or they were repeating things like big sections of the song, it would get to be too much. It's, this is really well done. So that must have been part two, and now this is part three, which I think is purely instrumental until the end, I think. See, and now this part, this feels like things have resolved. This feels like all that pain and all that violence and energy from the beginning and middle part of the song now are in the past. And now what we're hearing or looking at or listening to is is basically this picture we see here. And, and I'm reading into this, right? I, this, that's just my opinion on all this crap. Um, is, I don't say crap as if it's the song, I mean crap as in my opinion is crap, uh, is, it seems like a very peaceful, like, you'd hear this as you're sitting around on the porch, or this would be the soundtrack of people sitting on their front porch just hanging out on a nice summer day, doing whatever they want to do.
Also really interesting because this part of the song really, the whole song, mimics its content. So the content of the song, the lyrics is what I'm talking about, and the music, the sound of it, um, kind of goes through this whole idea of all this stuff happens, then like you're getting blamed for something, or at least that's how I was reading into it. You're getting blamed for destroying everything. And then at the end of even that paragraph that we talked about a little bit earlier, um, don't talk if it's not your turn, just watch the world burn. It's all your fault. That's kind of that part in the middle that everything's falling apart, right? Don't blame yourself or don't blame me for what I didn't cause. Uh, you got lost changing time again. It's all right. And then at the end, we come back to that part. It, it's fine. Everything's going to be okay. Like you, you did what you had to do. Everything's fine now, and it's peaceful. And you get this peaceful music at the end. So it's again, I'm just reading into it, kind of what I was like. Oh yeah, okay. The lyrics kind of reflect what the song is physically doing over the course of its its existence. Good stuff. Uh, I'm really liking Jane Remover a lot, and um, definitely has something cool to say. So I'm here for it. Send me some more Jane Remover. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, Pop Squat. Check it out. Please like, subscribe, share. Alina, thank you very much, my dear patron. Um, if you want to be a patron or if you want to send me some money to react to a song, you can do so down here. Um, that's it for now. I'll be back. Have a good evening. I'm going to play Magic later. Ha ha ha. It's going to be fun. Bye.